What up? In this video, we're going to be adding a piece of mesh to our W204 GT style grill. The gaps in between the fins of the GT style grill are larger. It tends to allow dirt and debris to pass through, therefore build up behind your front bar. The purpose of this is not only to stop dirt and debris passing through, but also to add that luxurious sporty feel again. Now, if it was a turbo car and you had an intercooler behind there, that would be very appealing and it would look really nice. What I've decided to do is add a piece of aluminium black mesh. Now, the reason why I went for black mesh is so that it follows the color scheme that the front bar already has. My front bar has black mesh in the lower part of the front bar. So I wanted to follow suit and keep that factory look. Being aluminium, it's very easy to handle. We need to figure out exactly how we're going to cut it to size, how we're going to securely mount it so that it doesn't move around nor does it fall apart. Here is the grill. What we need to do is measure out and draw out exactly how we want our grill to fit. Now we want to make sure that this is on the other side because we're going to cut it from this side and also mark it from this side. Okay, looks pretty good. Be sure you cut it just a little bit bigger in case you need to adjust it. We'll start drawing it out. That is pretty much how we're going to cut it out. That's pretty much where it's going to sit. So we want to make sure we cut it just a little bit bigger. And then we can simply just trim it down to size. So make sure you mark it with something that you can really see. Now that we have traced it out with this fluorescent paint marker, what we're going to need is a pair of wire snips, just so that I can cut around it much easier. We need to make sure that this mesh gets as flush to the grill as possible. In order to do that, we need to remove this grill support piece here. There are gonna be two tabs that you need to cut around and we'll cut around it so that our mesh can sit flush to the grill. That's basically it. The grill should sit in perfectly and the mesh should sit perfectly around the tabs as well. The whole point of this is to make sure that once we do it, it will fit back in nice and snug and nothing will be protruding. We'll just cut off all these uh, zip ties. There we go. Now we have our grill out. We need to release this flap here. We need a flathead screwdriver right here and pull it out. Okay, there we go. We're going to cut pretty much where the white paint mark is. We'll see how it all fits together. the final snips where it's still connected now we just need to cut the outlines of these tabs so that this can sit in flush and it's one cut out all right that's two cut out we need to zip tie it down so that we can glue it down you see the mesh behind it now I think that looks pretty banging so I'm just going to mark it here so I know that that's where this lines up. A line here. We need to use zip ties again so that we can secure it back down. Now we're just going to cut a hole big enough for the light up star plug to come out of. And now we'll see if the plug fits through. And it does. We want to make sure that the mesh sits below these points on top. We'll zip tie it back down again to ensure that 
Once we glue it down, it will sit perfectly in place. All the little bits that protrude a little bit on the sides, I'm going to fold them over. And if it gets a little bit hard for you, you could always just use like a flathead screwdriver, fold it over all around the grill. I have folded over the mesh over the sides here. That way it kind of holds in place. You want the mesh to be as close to the grill as possible. That way when you apply your adhesive glue, it will stay put. You need to make sure that this will fit back inside without any hassle at all. cut off all the extra and then we're going to give it a test fit because we want to make sure that when we fit it none of the mesh is in the way. Give it a test trial fit. Right, so I guess the only thing left to do now is to glue it together, wait about 24 hours for the glue to completely dry and cure. We're going to start gluing it now and this is what I'm going to use right here. It is called Gorilla Clear Grip. Okay, it bonds to metal, glass, fabric, wood, ceramic, leather, paper, plastic and more. Crystal clear, 100% waterproof, permanent bond, holds in just seconds and that's what we want guys. We want this to work immediately. Because we need to clean the surface first, what we're going to do is clean it with some iso alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol. So we're just going to spray it all around. Spray it, give it a nice coat all the way around. Perfect. Oh wow, look at that glue right there. Look at it come out guys. All right, so we'll apply a little bit of this glue here and uh, we'll see how it works. It is really strong, so be very careful. Don't get any on your fingers. Okay, we'll apply some here. It dries clear, so that's a really good benefit. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up right now. As you can see here, at the bottom, you can see the glue and the mesh, okay? As you can see, I've just laid it on there so that it glues the mesh to the grill. All right, just to give you guys another quick example, I'm going to put some just here, where the tabs come out of, so you guys can see pretty much how I'm doing it. I'm going to apply some through the hole so it gets all the way through, like so, okay? Just a nice dollop, that way, it bonds to it. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side as well. Now you're not gonna be able to see this because lucky enough we have two black tabs on each side. So you're not gonna see this at all. That's why I'm applying a little bit more here. Okay, and that's it. That's basically how we do it. FYI, 
because this is my first time doing it, I did it in a way where I thought it was going to be perfect. But if I was to do this again, I would make sure that I have a little bit more around the edges. That way I could fold it over the grill and it would stay in place via a fold as well. And then you're gluing it down the bottom rather than on the edges like I'm doing now. But this is still going to work out fine guys. It's going to be a really good bond. We'll give it a day to dry up and then we'll come back, have a look at it, see how it turns out. So now that it has fully cured, let's cut off all the zip ties and cut off all the extra bits of the black zip ties. We'll bring it over to the car and we'll install it and see how good it looks. So taking a look at this grill right here, as you can see, we still have the little bits of zip ties here, but even going up close to it, you can barely see the zip ties. So, you know, maybe you can get away with just using zip ties, but personally for myself, if I can get away with not using zip ties and just using straight glue, I would definitely do that instead. Because I have one of these light up emblems for my front grill, I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to get it to fit in my mesh. I could probably get away with cutting up a little hole just behind here and get it through. So we'll cut out just a little section for the cable to go through and we'll cut it behind the fin, that way it's also hidden. All right, that might be big enough right there, guys. So we'll give that a try. Just need to pull it through on this side here. There we go, that's one through. Oh, it looks like the red one's coming through a lot easier, but that's good. There we go, and bam. All right, now our cable is through. Push it all the way through. All right, so that's where we want our Mercedes-Benz symbol to be, so we will now install it. As for the wire, we'll run it down the bottom so it's hidden. You have your wires coming through. You have your LED emblem installed, okay? And as you can see, that's how we install it, like that. We turn the um, mount horizontal. Now we will reinstall our grill. Now to reinstall the bottom, make sure that fits in right. Make sure all our clips line up, very important. When you don't have the mesh installed, you can just pull, put your fingers in between the gaps and pull it in. But because now we have the mesh, we need to push it in from the back. In. Okay, make sure it clips into place, guys. That's it. All right. So this is what it looks like when it's completed. As you can see, it looks pretty nice, guys. Very nice. Very happy with the outcome indeed. Look at that. That looks pretty good, guys. Basically, it looks like it was meant to be there. And if you take a close look here, you can see that there's one zip tie there, but it basically blends in with it. So... All in all, it looks pretty banging, guys. Very, very nice. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one.